baseball is beautiful. I mean, sometimes if you're a fan of the twins in 2021, this play was beautiful. Let's just stick with this play. This play is absolutely gorgeous by Luis Rice. He also had three hits and two RBIs and a big win over Tampa Bay. Nick Gordon, he drives in not only the game tying run here in the seventh inning, uh, you know, not doing a whole lot, just trying to go up the middle, which is kind of his main, mainly Nick Gordon's approach. Later on in the ninth, hits the go-ahead run, scoring single here. It's kind of same deal, just going right up the middle. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of exit velo on either of these balls. Nick Gordon, he's only got a 609 OPS, so it's not like he's lighting the world on fire, but a great game and so good to see out of him. Twins beat Tampa Bay. Charlie Barnes, who got really beat up with the Twins, uh, he went. he's back down in St. Paul. Uh, back down in triple a he pitched five shutout innings for the saints only gave up two hits only walked one batter struck out three and his era with the saints is now down to 3.93 um this is a guy again probably not really major league ready uh, i was kind of a surprise to see him sort of thrust into uh the twins rotation this year but certainly you could see if he ironed some things out having a major league career uh, austin martin was back in the wichita lineup after a few three days off uh, to attend to a personal matter. So hopefully, uh, you know, good to see him back. That's uh, hopefully a good sign that that's uh, whatever was happening is going well. Uh, wishing he and his family the best. And he also got his 12th stolen base here. This was right out the gate in the first inning. Uh, so he was getting after it. And Jordan Balazovic was the starting pitcher for Wichita. He's been so inconsistent lately. Even kind of his starts that look good on paper don't look as good when you dive deeper into some of them. But tonight was very encouraging. We're going to see him strike out the side in order in the fourth inning here, but he threw five and two-thirds innings, gave up six hits, two runs, no walks, and five strikeouts in this outing here. And, you know, you see there the breaking ball looking absolutely disgusting. So Jordan Balazovic, it would just be so nice to see him finish strong, especially with Yohan Duran being injured for most of this year. Such a buzzkill on kind of the pitching pipeline. And then he's Balzavik himself has been up and down. He also kind of missed some time with an injury. So, um, you know, the Twins obviously need pitching more than anything. So it would have been so great to see both of those guys just dominate this year. Uh, with that not happening, at least if we can get Jordan Balzavik finishing strong, you know, with Joe Ryan, you know, at the trade acquisition and now Simeon Woods Richardson. Uh, pitching again, if, if those two guys could finish strong along with Joe Ryan with the Twins, just would give you good vibes, much better vibes heading into the offseason than otherwise. So really nice to see him pitch well. Aaron Sabato, man, this guy, speaking of bright spots, he hits his third home run in just his 11th game with Cedar Rapids. That also gives him 10 home runs in his last 25 games played. Uh, he just continues to be absolutely on fire and blast this one out of the ballpark I wonder who lives in that house out there in Cedar Rapids that's getting home runs hit in their backyard constantly. That would, that would be a, a report I'd love to read. Somebody do an article on the person that lives there. Uh, but here's another look at that. And, you know, this he has tons of power. It's, it's all on, you know, if he's making a lot of contact or not. And he gets on base, too. So uh, really nice to see him finishing strong. And, man... Christian Encarnacion Strand. I feel like I've mentioned him like 10 videos in a row. But three hits again tonight. 420 batting average, 1.131 OPS since joining Fort Myers. Again, that's the Twins' fourth round pick this year. And one of those hits was his fourth home run that he's hit for them in just 12 games. Uh, just going absolutely nuts down there. Thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. We'll be doing this again tomorrow.